Hi everyone and welcome to Kismet Rising. I want to firstly apologize that I've been uh, not around as much as I'd like to be. Um, I've just uh, I've just been trying to uh, work with the energies at play and I've I've needed to take some time off but I still wanted to come to you with your weekly oracle card reading and so uh, and I'm going to try and make more of an effort to come back in uh, to the swing of uh, producing more videos in the next few weeks uh, I just needed a bit of time away so um, today we are doing another weekly oracle card reading and we have three oracle uh, decks in front of us here uh, we have the angels of Atlantis and we have the gods and goddesses here and we have the gateway oracle cards right here and so you have three options please take a moment uh, to decide which option yeah uh, you would like to hear which option you think you need to hear at this moment and then you may go down to the description box below where you will find the timestamp uh, for your reading okay so I'm going to go right into it So for those of you who've chosen this deck here, the Angels of Atlantis, we're asking, what is it that you need to hear this week? What is it that you need to hear in this week? What is the message that is for you this week? All right, and we have beginnings. And the card is Shamiel. So here, well, today I'm recording this on the 4th of February um 2019 and there is a new moon in Aquarius today and it signals new beginnings for many many people we're also in the middle of two eclipses so by the way this reading is timeless so you can access it at any time and the message is still relevant to you regardless of the astrological influences or the energy at the time at which I've recorded this video uh, but I just want to say that this is a time of new beginnings and you may feel like you're in between places or you may feel like you are drawn uh, to something that you don't really know what the end of it is and you're far away from where you feel comfortable but the message here for you is simply to move on simply to go go on with it go with it yeah go with that feeling that you have and follow follow that light that's ahead of you uh, let it tug you from your core you know be led from your core not from your mind uh, not from your heart, but from a, a part of you that is uh, kind of connected to the earth, you know, that's grounded and connected to the earth and as a part of you that's part of a, a collective consciousness. So I'm hearing also that uh, it's time to give up things. It's time to give up the old. It's time to actually move on from what it is that you may have thought was the was the right thing like you might have been in an illusion for a while you might have been a thought that oh you know this relationship or this job or or this thing ahead of me is actually what is the right thing for me right now but in fact um and you might have felt that way for years and you might have gone along in a certain path uh following something for a certain for for some time but it wasn't actually leading you anywhere you find yourself in a dead end in a cul-de-sac what I'm hearing is that the path that you've come from is not actually one where there is uh, what you need to be worried about. You need you need not to give yourself a hard time about the actions that you've taken in the last few years or the last few months, but la largely the last few years. You need to just accept that that's where it was. You need not to be hard on yourself because of that. Don't say to yourself, okay, well, you know, why did I do that? Or couldn't I have seen that better? No, you couldn't have. You can just see it now. And, you know, you need to get through all of those things. And you needed to have those emotions. It is part of a very important process in your learning um, curve. And so here you are now. Uh, I feel like in the space, in no man's land, almost in desolation, trying to, working towards something. But I know that you have this hope. And if you're lacking the hope, then I want you to know that you've been guided by this light you know you're gonna you're gonna find yourself moving towards this light here you know because this is where you need to be it's you need to merge with that in order to become one with this divine being to become to align with your soul purpose to to actually recalibrate yourself and part of it actually part of actually doing this is is in fact uh 
like re bring yourself back to you it's like recalibration it's like it's um i'm hearing it's like soul retrieval and i i recently did a ret uh, reading for somebody who was having a, like a kind of experience that's similar to this and um yeah it's like soul retrieval it's not just moving towards that but it's taking this what you've lost behind and left behind here with you and it's allowing that part to be a part of you while and accepting that that is a part of you and not being angry about that, not being upset about what happened here, but actually understanding that that is part of who you are now. And as you move into what's new and as you begin anew, that you make peace with what you have right here, that you've, that's been like, if somebody has done you wrong, if you feel like you've done yourself wrong, you know, uh, or if an institution has done something to you, that's been, um, I want to say impolite. <laughs> the word impolite comes in. But you know, if if you've been if you feel like something was not okay here, it's okay to say, well, that's just a part of me now. And I'm gonna neutralize that emotion. I'm gonna neutralize what it makes me feel like, and I'm gonna to move towards the light here because this is where I need to go to, and this is where this is where I'm being drawn to, and this is where I belong. And when I'm a part of this, um I can no longer be impacted by these other energies here, which are more ego-based and more worrisome and, and not really part of love and, and part of this kind of contentment and, and bliss that you experience as a part of uh, this collective that you're moving towards here. So that is your reading for those of you who've chosen the first option here. I think um, with this new moon, I think this uh, new moon in uh, Aquarius and in the middle of this eclipse, eclipses, there are tons of us that are experiencing new beginnings. And it's about how do we embrace that and how do we actually step into that in a way that's sacred and beautiful and where we understand the true meaning of where we're going to and not really not fighting it, you know, but just simply surrendering to this new beginning and allowing ourselves to be guided into a, a space which is uh, definitely a better or a more comfortable space than the one we've come from, uh, one that's more spiritually aligned, one that's more in alignment with what it is that you truly desire. Okay, so yeah, once again, that is your reading uh, for those of you who've chosen the first deck here. And uh, we can just move on here to uh, to the second one. And for those of you who've chosen the gods and goddesses uh, deck here, uh, what is your message? So I've used these cards, I think, on this channel before. I just want to mention that this is the card. You know, this is the cover of the card. And then there's like a meaning and a mantra and a meditation and blessings at the back here. So this, you know, I can't actually... Uh, um, there's not a, an actual back of this egg. Uh, and I prefer shuffling it in this way. So we're just asking here quickly, what is it that those of you who've chosen the second option, what is it that you need to hear? What is it, what is important for you to hear at this moment? And what is your guidance? There it is. Okay, so the card we have here is Matsya, and it's the fish avatar. Okay, and um, I'm going to just read the meditation to you and the blessings, and then I'm going to go into the, uh, the meaning of it. So it says, O Keshava, you've become incarnate in the form of a fish to hold the Vedas, like a vessel undeterred from its course, into the waters of the deluge. Hail to you, Hari, Lord of the Universe. And that was written by Gita Govinda. So the blessings are protection against natural disasters, security for seafarers and travelers, preserving ancient traditions and knowledge. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, channel a message to you here with regard to what this actually, yeah, what we got regard to what this actually means so basically with this card what i'm hearing here is that there's an opportunity that's coming your way uh which is quite different from opportunities that have come your way in the past and 
you have the ability to be able to make uh, a certain kind of um, like to be able to be prosperous in this time. It's uh, like if you have if you, if you uh, work for yourself or if you are if you're working in some kind of trade or service industry where you your work is to bring in clients or to uh, produce products uh, where, you know, what I hear here is that um, you're able to find quite a lot of clients during this time or you're able to actually uh, create a, a, a lot. Yeah, you're able to make a much higher profit than you're usually able to so there's an opportunity coming your way which has something to do with money here which has something to do with prosperity it has something to do with a kind of force that you've put into that you have already put into place uh, already that's something that you've been working on already here that you don't need to push forth as much anymore because now it's kind of it'll take off and it'll have its own energy and if for those of you where this doesn't really um uh, apply in terms of uh, in terms of work or money uh, I still think that your finances are going to improve during this time so you might find that uh, money comes easier to you or uh, things are you find good deals things are cheaper uh, what you are expecting to pay you're expecting to pay a lot of something but uh, you actually find it that you know like you get 70% off or something and it's something that you've been wanting for a long time. So that is the kind of energy I'm getting here. The other energy I picked up when I picked up picked up this card um, was that this uh, you're going to slide through things here. Yeah? You're going to be going through things in a very peaceful way. And I feel that this energy lasts you. If you're watching this in uh, the early early February when I post this, 2019 then this energy is going to last until about March or so. And I'm hearing that if you're watching this at a later stage or at any other time, it's basically like six to seven weeks, this energy is going to be there, where you uh, feel that things come to you easier, where it's easier for you to transition through something, it's easier for you to slide or to slip through something, and that you have a certain power that you're not needing to apply, you're not needing to wield this power, it's like there's something that you've been working on already that you've actually you have inside of you, whether it's confidence or whether you've just been working on your your self-esteem or you've been you've been doing something here, which you have, you know, as as a resource, as like a investment that you've made in yourself. And uh, with that, you're able to kind of whatever you put your hands on, whatever you touch, whatever you uh you call out for has a it, it kind of blossoms it kind of comes your way with ease and I feel that you you go about this in a very calm manner and you actually um are able to to um you know just ease ease through life I'm just getting the feel of real ease here real uh smooth sailing um just uh, abundance like things that you touch and it turns to gold sort of thing the other thing like that is more like a prediction but in terms of the advice I would like to say that I think if you do things in this way if you approach things in this way with a certain degree of ease if you recognize that what you have at your disposal uh, what you've studied already or what you already have what the skills that you have you know um, whatever they are however basic they are uh, even if you do not think that you don't have enough or you're not ready, the card here is saying to me that you are actually ready and uh, you actually can go through this thing with ease. And so embody that. Go with this feeling of uh, it's within my grasp and I can do this and it's not going to take any effort and this is not going to be a challenge to me. This is just something I need to do and, and, I, and, and it will be the case. Um, there is no need at this moment to look at this in terms of a challenge. The other thing I'm hearing here is that uh, the universe is supporting you in this moment. Yeah, this is not just something that you've created by yourself, which does contribute to all the abundance and all the the um, feelings, good feelings and this prosperity that's coming your way. But this is also something that um, that is supported. The energy right now is is kind of it's a wave that you're riding 
and you're going to land at a shore at which you wanted to land at. You've been waiting for this wave to come by, lift you up and just simply place you very gently on this new shore uh, that you will arrive at. And so I think that uh, just go with what it is right now. And don't resist, flow with it, uh, move with it and note that you, when you have this attitude of ease and uh, effortlessness that it is something that you put out there and it, it is actually going to uh, create it's gonna it's gonna in fact have its own life where it goes about creating things so it's not like you need to work any longer at really pushing forth or really doing this or doing that it's like you've done what you've needed to do now and then now you just need to kind of sail through and just enjoy what what you have already done and um yeah, so that's what that's the energy I'm picking up here, you know. And as we we read here before, um, it says here that you, you know, in terms of the the meditation, you are incarnate in the form of a fish to hold the Vedas like a vessel undeterred from its course in the waters of the deluge. And just like you need to sail through, you need to go with the flow right now. So things around you may seem like it is in chaos or may not be. Uh, as smooth sailing as your internal being right now but i feel that here you have everything that you need you have the knowledge you have the the, the work has been done you know i feel like this is this is an applied to somebody who's been working really hard at um you know coming to a certain goal within themselves like an internal task you've been working hard to uh work in a well, well, sorry, to work in a particular area of your life, like maybe your, your self-esteem or your confidence, or you being trying to develop new habits uh, for yourself and, and something to that effect, you know, that's just examples I'm giving you. And, uh, and now you have that at your disposal and you can just sail through. And so what the message what I'm hearing is in terms of your guidance is actually uh, basically that you knew, you need to recognize that you have all that it takes right now and you simply need to just ease through it as I mentioned uh, many times now and you need to move through this uh, effortlessly and you will be successful. Within this, you are protected and you are in fact um, going to, there's nothing that's going to come in your way anymore. Uh, I just feel this path is without obstacles and it's going to be easier. So that's your message for those of you who've chosen uh, this particular um, deck here, uh, the deck with the, the gods and, and goddesses, uh, that is. Okay, so I'm going to move on now to the final deck. And um, this is the Gateway Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. And um, I'm just going to give it a shuffle. So we're asking, for those of you who've chosen the third uh, option here, what is it that you need to know for this week ahead? And what is it that uh, you need to know at this moment? And, uh, oh, wow. Okay, I feel that this is the card that we're going to go with. Also because it came up earlier, uh, before I began the video and I shuffled this card, it also flew out. And I feel that this is the message that's screaming out uh for you and um, basically it's it's uh, it says here it's cultivating prosperity and the message here is the abundance of the oh let me just get that into focus for you the abundance of the universe is pouring into my life and it's cultivating prosperity and you know I just want to say that it feels to me that these three cards are linked like it's actually this energy that uh, we are reading right now is very much the same. It's very much in the collective, and I think I'm going to do an energy forecast later, so I can describe a, a little, little bit of what I understand going on here. But for those of you who've chosen this one, um, you know it feels like a story that's being told from the first card to the second to the third, and here you are, you cultivating prosperity. But I feel like you're not just cultivating this, but you also. Uh, you're also able to um, harvest this prosperity. You know, it's not just that you're cultivating it. It's like you're at that stage where you're harvesting. So what have you been cultivating? And for those of you where, where this is this image, I mean, this um, message is a literal translation for what's going on in your life. Um, the abundance of the universe is pouring into your life. Yes. But I want you to understand that 
it's really important right now that you uh, that you harvest what you have or you take into account what you have, you invest wisely, that you manage this uh, because this is a very prosperous cycle that we're in right now, this couple of weeks. And whenever you access this reading, uh, you, the same message will apply to you. And um, it's a great time for you to plant other seeds. It's a great time for you to, uh, the soil is fertile for you, you know. It's a time for you to, all the forces are lying to support you. And it's a time for you to be able to put out what it is that you want. You know, make a wish, it'll come true. Um, just whatever you, you do right now is going to actually be, uh, also of prosperity. And this is very similar to the message that I, I, uh, had for the second option here, the people who chose the second option. And, um, I just feel that things are going to be rosy and it's going to be easy. There's going to be calm. There's going to be peace in your environment and that you can go about doing what you need to do. You can go about like the storm has cleared and now you can just get on with it. You can get on with it in terms of uh, just doing what it is that you're passionate about and uh, ensuring that your uh, that success is achieved in this, not just in terms of your fulfillment, but also in terms of monetary success and you know your 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 prosperity it's it's going to be a profitable time for you but not in the sense uh, like i mentioned in the other reading where like you're going to be having lots of clients or lots of um um yeah lots of lots of um profit like a increase in your profits i feel like that this has the potential to create that and i also feel that uh it's it's somehow about you just getting down and working and and not getting be, being distracted by anything so it's about it's about laying out your plan here and establishing a routine yeah it's a it's about doing that it's you know it's about laying down like like saying to yourself where is it that i want to go to now and then um like having your end goal in your mind and then tracking the path to your end goal and then you know just beginning with with baby steps you know what is the first thing you need to do in order to uh to get to your goal you know um and just like plan out those steps and do not underestimate the time that these uh these steps are going to take now if you have come here and you're wondering you're hoping to have a message of uh regarding a love life or something something else not something related to work or i want to say that uh in terms of cultivating prosperity in terms of love or in terms of a love relationship the only way you can do that is if you actually uh you you spread it out you know you're sending it out of you you are um just kind of radiating it from your heart you're sending out love and the love that you have for whoever it is that you're asking about and uh when you do that that in itself is an investment in in the world around you in terms of that as well as that person but as well as yourself and that is actually where you'll be cultivating prosperity if you are struggling with a pet or you're having difficulties with a family member right now if if there are measures that you need to take like steps that you can take towards um making the situation better then go ahead and plan that out and and then take the, those steps and now is a good time now is the time in which you will be supported through all of that but i want to say that uh, if it's something that's out of your control if it's something that is not you know you can't really uh manage then it's still a good time for you to simply be able to pray and to wish something into existence and it will come um to be okay so cultivate prosperity by prayer by sending out love by sending out light uh by you know allowing yourself to be a light worker in this world and just really uh putting yourself out in a way that doesn't require more than simple uh, a, a simple good feeling that you want to bring into the world you know um when i mean light worker i mean anyone who's basically having good thoughts about the world and pouring goodness into the world, having faith and trust in, in fellow people and beings and, and just trusting also that things are going to go well. And I just think that this is something that uh, I think that some of this card has come up to, because some of you 
need, are needing to hear that exactly that you know trust is actually a very important part of this situation and you need to simply allow yourself to trust that it is going to be prosperous you know when you plant these seeds in the ground and you're waiting for it to to bloom and to blossom and for your yield uh, to come through uh, you need to trust that there aren't going to be any droughts or any any huge storms that are going to come al along and um, you know um, mess up your 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 produce here well you you need to ensure that you need to trust rather you need to trust it's not that you need to ensure i'm sorry you need to trust that no wolves are going to come in or no rabbits are going to come in and, and eat up your your produce or, or your you know what it is that you're trying to to produce and um i think that uh that's an important part of this you know you may have when you when i drew this card you may have been oh uh, yes uh prosperity but I don't think it's going to come my way. I don't think I'm going to have this luck. Uh, that would be nice, but I don't think I'm going to have this luck. And you don't really truly believe in it. And one of the messages here is for you to trust. Because sometimes you need to simply trust. Okay, Go about what you need to do in terms of your work. And go about uh, everything that you're doing. Okay, And simply trust. And I, the message is very, very varied for this one here. I'm getting like very, like almost contradicting messages for this, those of you who have chosen this card. And I think the reason for that is because perhaps many of you are going to choose this option and the messages are different for all of you. Okay. But um, yeah, having said that, I just want to say um, this requires work, ongoing work. It requires something that... Um, it requires your commitment. It requires your dedication. It requires that you're in for it, uh, in in it for the long haul. Okay, so go ahead and and commit to that. Um, commit to something that you're passionate about, and get working, get going with it, because it's through that that you're going to find your fulfillment, and it's through that that you're going to have the financial security that you're craving, and it's through that that you're actually going to um, be where you're going to get where you are where you want to go to you know stop thinking about it and stop being distracted or stop fantasizing about it just get down into it the time is right for you now to get down and do it and the time is right because you're going to have the support that you need around you uh, and you know like just as an example if you were a farmer you're going to have the good weather you're going to have uh the the rains you're going to have the uh you know you're not going to have any elements coming in to steal your your um what you, what it is you're planting or to dig up your roots so i think that uh that's just an example right you're being supported by the universe in this way so they're asking you just to trust they're saying well listen you are supported by us and uh we're telling you that this is a good time now for you to do what you need to do so stop thinking about it stop vacillating stop postponing just go ahead and do it it's time to do that okay and in doing so You'll be cultivating prosperity within you. You know, it's not. It's, it's, this is card has so much to do with what's going on within you, and uh, it has, of course, something to do with something that's going on outside of you, material things as well, um, worldly things. But this has so much to do with with what you're cultivating within you. You know, cultivate the sense of prosperity within you by understanding your worth, by understanding who you are, and and why it is that you are able to actually go out and do these things because you have the skills and you have the knowledge and you have the, the ability and you have the opportunity at this moment. So recognize that and, and go with it and let your, um, as you grow, as you actually uh, cultivate your prosperity inside, the outside will also measure a um, mirror that, you know, and, and vice versa. So, just go down, get, get, I mean, get out and, and, and do the work that you need to do. Create what it is that you've been putting off for a while. And when you start doing that or, and you have the balance, you've created a balance within yourself as a result of that or within within that context, then you'll find that your internal, um, it, it impacts you internally. So your idea of yourself also improves and you gain, gain greater confidence and you, you learn to trust uh, even if it, you were just like faking it at the beginning in terms of trusting, you're just kind of lying to yourself and saying, okay, I'm going to trust, but I don't really trust. You'll get you, when, when you see that their results are being, yield, you yielding results from this, 
uh, you are going to start trusting. So, and that's part of the cultivation of this prosperity. It's, um, it's about understanding the abundance of the universe that's not just pouring into your life here, but that's, that it exists within you, that you are the abundance of the universe, that it's all within you. And simply about what is it that you can bring outside of yourself and bring into the world so that it can manifest, so that it has an external manifestation. And so this energy, this creativity that you have inside of you is not going to just um, implode, but it's actually, you know, you're going to have this kind of outward expression and you're going to feel that uh, abundance that you have. You're going to feel what it is that you can give into this world. And in that way, you are cultivating the prosperity within you. So I'm not sure if you've gotten all of that. And uh, if I've explained it well enough, I think I try to. Um, but yeah, this is actually quite an interesting, varied take on this card. And I hope it resonates with you. And I want to say, uh, well, thank you for coming by. Thank you for coming by. And thank you for um, being so patient with me. I will come back. Um, and I will be more regular on the channel. And I'm sending you a whole lot of love and much healing and well-being in your lives. And I hope that you're all using this wonderful energy that's coming our way now in a way that's... Um, going to actually be uh to your benefit in the future and so uh yeah i'm sending you all the love and blessings abound from kismet rising